Hey guys, Bubble Pop Kids here and get ready for a little Bubble Pop Beauty. Tons of stuff to look at today and I cannot wait. Starting off with this little thing. I found it yesterday. It's called My Little Beauty Jewel Boutique. Ooh, it's by Clean Color. She never heard of that brand Clean Color. Super new to me, but here is what it's going to look like. It opens up tons and tons of eyeshadows. I think there's lip gloss, blushes. <gasps> going to be amazed. Not only do we have all of that makeup to look at, we have tons of lippies. Would you believe this, you guys? They are little lip balms. They look like Starbucks cups or coffee cups. Unbelievable. I found them for a dollar. I still can't get over how cute they are. Look at this. White chocolate mocha. Mm. <laughs> I could go for one of those right about now. <sighs> ah, I could drink this one up. Look at that whipped cream. You could see the iced coffee. It is Espresso Frappe flavored lip balm. Oh, it's going to be so good. These little containers look so real. Can't get over it. If you're not a coffee drinker, we got a little sweet tea for you. Look at this. It's got little ice cubes, cute straw, and the color looks just like tea. That is a first. I've never seen one of these. Perfect for this time of year and for all my pumpkin spice lovers, we have the Spice Pumpkin Latte. <laughs> it's got an orange coffee cup, a little white lid. Looks like a Dunkin' Donuts one. So there they are, the four little lip balm drinkies we're going to be testing out. And after that, I thought, hey, why not? We might as well throw in a little chef club. I get two season six little blind bags here, two in each. So cute. Alrighty guys, so the time is now. We are going to get into some beauty. <laughs> We're going to look at this little jewel boutique, lip balms, and shop keys. Let's do this. It is super close up of my little jewel boutique. I am loving this box. I love how it's got that like black and white snake skin look. It's really compact. Perfect for traveling if you want to bring like a lot of makeup with you. Ooh, I've laid it down this way. It is so cute. Kind of looks like a little beauty laptop. Open it up. Whoa. <laughs> Look at all of that. Billion eyeshadows. Whoa! I cannot believe it. I am looking at a rainbow right now. I knew there were going to be so many eyeshadows, but there are 72. 72 different shades. Pretty much every single, ah! Every color of the rainbow in here. They look like little seashells. And one was actually broken. It kind of made a mess. There's like this blue powder all over the place. But the rest are intact. So, so pretty. I love the way this palette is kind of arranged too because it goes from greens to blues to purples, pinks, kind of orange natural shades and darker ones. Really organized. And under those 72 shadows, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different glosses. These are kind of weird colors. I see yellow, blue, green, orange, but then they do have the pinky ones and the reds. Ooh, pigments. <laughs> I have been looking for pigment. Oh, look at that. It looks like a lipstick gloss. These are going to be good. <laughs> I just tested one out. Look at that pretty red kind of lip glossy color. We are going to try the shadows, lip glosses, and then when you open the bottom, I can't even believe this thin little box is holding all of this. There is another tray at the bottom, kind of like a little drawer. Pops right out. And you get six blushers, powders, and bronzers. Love those shades. Also get the beauty tools. How could we not have these with so many different shadows? So we get your powder, blush, your brush, really good size. This isn't even like a little travel size. It's the big one. Super soft. We get a little eyebrow shaper. Comb your brows and fix them up. And of course you get your three little brushes, probably for the tons of eyeshadows and lip glosses. This one has kind of a slant to it. This is like your classic eyeshadow brush. It's really big. And your third. Ooh, I'd say this one is probably for the gloss. It's a little one for your lips. 
tons of beauty tools. I also get one of these, these little spongies. I use these every single day to like apply my foundation. There's no foundation in this kit, but maybe if you wanted to just like rub on a little bit of blush. And we get this teeny weeny, super convenient little blusher brush. I don't like this one as much as this. Sometimes when you use these, it doesn't go on as smooth. Anyway, I'm looking at this little thing on the side here. I wasn't sure what it was. It is an instruction brochure, so perfect. So it's got all these little tips on how to do your makeup. Really cool. Usually these little palettes don't come with something like that. Love it. Alrighty guys, so I'm just gonna push in this little tray here. We're gonna check out those blushes a little bit later because we gotta get to the 72 eyeshadows. <laughs> I don't think we can swatch them all, but we'll swatch a lot of them. These kind of remind me of fall colors. This whole section here, so, so beautiful. Let's do it. Oh, my eyes are going crazy. Look at all these colors. They are just so beautiful. I mean, what kind of palette has 72 different shades in there? I don't know. This one is really catching my eye. It's kind of like an olive green. Oh, it's beautiful. It has a little bit of a goldish tint to it. And for this kind of eyeshadow, I would really only put a little tiny bit on my lid. I wouldn't put it all the way up to my eyebrow, just a tiny bit. Can't believe it. I think this set was like $15. I mean, you could spend $15 on an eyeshadow at MAC or one of those stores just for this. So nice. Moving up a little bit to another green. Ooh, this kind of looks like a lime green. Really pretty. More of like a summery color. Wow. Doing a little camo. Looks like camouflage. And I'll try this one. Almost like an aquamarine. Woo, had a little blue. One of those blue ones broke. It kind of went everywhere. Moving over to the blue section. I'm just gonna put a bunch of them on my little fingers, swipe them on my hand, and show you. See if there's a difference. Look at these. I tested out, I don't know, there's so many different blue ones, probably about 12 or 15, but I just tried out six and look at the pigments. They are so strong. And I think my favorite one out of all of them is like this aqua blue. It's so, so pretty. It matches my nails. Not something I would wear every single day, but for like a party or something like that, really nice. I think the one that I could wear every day is probably this one, super light and shimmery. Very sheer. Pretty much all the blue shadows you'll ever need in one palette. So many different light ones, dark ones. This one is super icy, like an Elsa color. Move it on to the purples. Purple, purple. Those were the Elsa colors. These are the Anna colors. That's how they remind me. Look at them. They are so, so nice. This one is super dark, almost like a grape one. Wouldn't wear it every day, but I definitely love having that. I love this shimmery one. It's so light, almost like a light pink. The three in the middle are super natural. Then we get this one here, almost like a hot pink. Fuchsia. Wow, I never had so many different shades of purple going at one time. Imagine doing your eyelid like this, just stacking them up. Look at all of these different pink shades. This one is kind of like a maroon, but it does have a pink tint to it. I love that. Actually, it looks a little bit more like a lip color. 
I love these light silvery ones on the side. So pretty. This one is kind of like a pink blushy color. Cannot take it. I only tried about five of them. There's so many more. Unbelievable. I can't believe this thing was just 15 bucks. It's like blowing my mind right now. Do the final swatch before we look at some of these glosses here. Crazy colors going. I don't know about some of them. Blue, green, at least they have pink ones. So I'm going to test out some of these natural tones, browns, and maybe a couple dark ones. Here they are, your fall harvest shades. <laughs> Just kidding, they look so much like Halloween colors, fall -y kind of colors. And I have to say out of all the swatches, this is my favorite because these are those kind of natural ones I would see myself wearing every day. You could wear them, super blendable. I like this one. Kind of like a champagne color. You get gold, silver. This one is really nice. It's like a smoky one if you want to do a smoky eye. There you have it, all the shadows, love them all. I cannot make one complaint about these. They are so pigmented, super blendable, and they're powder. They're definitely powder ones, but they kind of go on the skin like a cream. Very soft. Going to the 12 glossy. Ooh, <laughs> these are kind of weird. Try to give my finger a little rest here. I've been dipping it in all the shadows and try this little lippy brush. Here it is. Ooh, this actually is really pretty. It's not a yellow color. It's almost like a gold. Try it. Ooh, I like that. Looks exactly like a nail polish I got recently. Wow. Love that. Kind of sheer, very natural, not too dramatic, but it definitely has that golden shine. Yeah, this one here, it's got all these little gold sparkles in there, but it looks almost like an RNG red. It's really pretty. And another thing I wasn't sure, these are super, super soft. Sometimes lip glosses in these palettes aren't too great. These are really, really blendable. Ooh. <laughs> Not the biggest fan of the color, but I like how it looks like a lipstick and a gloss at the same time. Not too crazy about it. Almost like a pumpkin orange. Try a little green here, dip my brush. Good for a witch costume. Actually, if you wanna be a witch, these are really cool green shadows. And lip gloss for your costume. Ooh, I love the creamy texture. Actually, the color isn't so bad, it's kinda cute. <laughs> I don't think I'd wear it, but I really like that. So, so similar to the eyeshadow. I think this one, just put it side by side, look at that. Can't even tell the difference. That's the gloss, that's the eyeshadow. This matches so good. Over here, this is the color I've been eyeing the most. It looks so nice. It's kind of like a soft, rosy pink. Looks super natural. It looks really good. Ooh, look at that. I love it. I wish it was like a bigger piece so I can have it for longer, but actually, these aren't so little. They'd last you for a while. Shimmery, it's pink. It would give you like a nudish lip. Bring it up a little. Another great thing about these glosses and shadows, they have kind of matchable shades. I know there was a pink shade that matched that exact. The green had one, the gold. Try the blue. <laughs> Some blue lip balm. Lip gloss. You're into blue lips you'd love this look at it it's so shimmery and sparkly actually i think for halloween i may wear this i don't know what costume i'm going as but i think i want this on my lips it's so shimmery and nice and if i was to match up a shadow i think i'd go with this one it's almost the same color a little bit lighter
pretty. Ooh, that's another good one. I love it. It's a really, really glossy pink. Just your original pink. Nice. For this one here in the corner, it's kind of hard to tell the color, but it's like a purple, a super sparkly purple. Looks really good. I've never seen a gloss in this color. It's first. Definite first for me. Gorgeous. <laughs> it is just gorgeous. I love this. I actually would wear this on like an everyday basis because you can barely tell it's purple. It's really shimmery. Almost like a lavender color. I love it near the pink. This one looks like it's almost going to be like a fuchsia. little lip gloss brushy swipe so I can clean it off. It had about a thousand different shades on it and I have to say I love the eyeshadows but the glosses were even better. They were so nice, so many different pigments, strange colors but actually they didn't come out so bad. I like the blue, the purple, the gold was really gorgeous. Time to look at some blush and powder. They are, and I am really loving these colors. These two look like face powders. These are pinky blushes, peachy blushes, and looking at it, this might be a bronzer. No, not really. So there's not a bronzer in here. It's just face powder and blush. Whenever I put this on my face, I will always use either a kabuki brush or something like this. But just to show you the pigments, I'm gonna swipe it with my thing and put a little stripe on my hand. I think that's the best way to show you guys. So I'm going to start from the bottom up. Ew! <laughs> to tell you the truth, I cannot believe it, but I am not the biggest fan of any of these. They are so matte, they're kind of like a chalky texture not blendable at all and you can see when they go on the skin they don't look too good kind of shocked i can't believe it because the gloss and those eyeshadows were super amazing super super high quality and these were really really bad they just i don't even i don't know they're just they don't blend they look like dolly makeup like fake makeup i don't like them i don't like any of those shades and for the powders, I kind of can see they're the same texture as these, super chalky. Ugh, <laughs> look at that. Can you imagine putting that on your face? Ugh, you might as well get some sidewalk chalk. That's how it looks. Horrible, horrible. I don't know how they made these. So I'm just gonna slip this little thing in and pretend these are not here. And use all these little beauties. And I almost forgot to show you, of course, for convenience, they put a nice size mirror here so you can do all your makeup. It's after testing out all the makeup in this little jewel boutique. I don't even know why they call it that. Such a cute name. I really, really loved it. Eyeshadows were great. Lip gloss was great. I did not like the blush, but I did like all the cute little beauty tools. Really like it. Moving along from a bunch of shadows to these little coffee cup lip balms. These are the most adorable little things. Perfect to add to any collection. And they're seriously making me want one of these. I either want like a pumpkin latte or one of these iced coffees. Looks so, so good. Looks like we're starting with the white chocolate mocha. Ooh, something I love to get at Starbucks. More near the holiday time, like November, December, around Christmas. Never thought I'd see a lippy in the shape of that. Pop it open. Fresh out of the package, here is our white chocolate mocha. Ooh, look at this cute little topper. It looks so real. Ooh, and look at the color. This is pretty much the color I was expecting, like a milky white kind of color. Ooh, it just pulls up right from the bottom. I cannot wait to smell this. I've been waiting. You guys, I don't know how they did this. I always see this about lip balms. Like, how do they get these unique, realistic flavors? This is unbelievable. It smells, here's a picture. If you don't know what a white chocolate mocha is, it's kind of like 
a whipped cream with cinnamon and I don't know, like an iced coffee. It smells just like that. You smell the whipped cream, you definitely smell the coffee. I want one right now. Yeah, so there are a lot of scents going on right now. You smell the cinnamon, whipped cream, a little bit of the chocolatey mocha, and you smell a super strong coffee, iced coffee. It's just too unbelievable. I knew they were like the cutest little containers, but I had no clue how they were gonna actually smell. They just, this one at least, it smells too, too good. And for one dollar, best one ever. I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> it's a little teeny cup. It's like a little Barbie doll cup. And the white chocolate milk too. An espresso frappe. Ooh. Sometimes I get those little frappes at McDonald's. But this one looks really good. The picture looks so yummy. Give it a smell. Loving this container. It's a lot different than this one. Your classic coffee cup. It's got that little rounded thing. Stick a little straw in there and it looks like ice cream. The picture on here looks like an ice cream sundae. Ooh, it's brown. We get a brown balm in there. I kind of thought it would be brown. Looks like chocolate. This one is not as good as this. I have to be honest, it's just like a regular Hershey's chocolate lip gloss or like a chocolate gloss. You don't really have the coffee scent in there. And it's got kind of a purplish, very light color. This was just clear. But if you love chocolate, you would love this. You even smell like a little bit of ice cream in there, kind of like a creamy scent. Love the container. Can't go wrong with this. Here's our third and final coffee bomb, coffee drink. It is the Spice Pumpkin Latte. Ooh, one of my fall favorites. I love getting these at either Starbucks or Dunkin's. Got a picture of it there. Ooh, it looks so whipped creamy. I really love anything with like a pumpkin flavor. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> Sometimes I do. It's kind of weird. Like pumpkin pie, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Got a cute little contini. Looks just like this one, except it's orange. Oh, how cute for the little pumpkin. Reminds me so much of Halloween. Ooh, it's got a really cool color. Looks like a pumpkin pie filling. How is this one gonna be? This scent or flavor, whatever this is, is right on. This is like, it smells just like a pumpkin pie. I'm not the biggest fan of pumpkin pie. I do eat it like on Thanksgiving, I'll eat it, but it just smells exactly like that. You smell the nutmeg and the spices, the pumpkin flavor. And you even smell a little bit of like a coffee flavor since it's a latte, you do smell that. I don't know how they did it. I do not know how they did it. And I love these because it's a really big bomb so you could just swipe it across your lips. It doesn't have any color, it's super clear, which is good because I don't like an orange lip. Another unbelievable one. It's a final little lippy drink and it's a sweet tea. Ooh, I'm not crazy about sweet tea. I do like iced tea. I don't know, I haven't had one in a super long time. But just look at it, it's got ice and a straw on there. <laughs> what other lip balm has that? Here is our sweet, sweet tea. Anyone else would think this was a doll, American girl, or like a Barbie doll accessory. You'd never ever know there was lip balm in here. How does this come out? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Ice, straw. There's your sweet tea balm. Kind of like a yellow color. Actually, a super bright yellow. Hmm. Probably the least scented of all of them. It kind of smells a little, little teeny bit like lemon, like a lemonade, but I'm not getting the tea or iced tea. Very light. It's a super moisturizing balm. I like that, but it doesn't smell like much. <laughs> but with a little container like this, who cares? It doesn't have to smell like anything. Just put it in the collection. There you go. Put the whole group together, you little coffee treat lip beauties. I loved them. I really loved them. I have to say my favorite was the white chocolate milk. It was so, so good. The smell was so real. It smelled just like a real one. I also love the pumpkin spice latte. 
This one was okay, just a regular chocolate. And the sweet tea, I think this is my favorite container, but I just don't like the smell. Super, super light. And I'd love for you guys to leave me a comment and let me know out of all these drinks, which one you like the best. Moving off the beauty train, make room for some shopkeys! It is shopkey time! Of course when I go out looking for makeup and lip balm, I gotta look for my shops. I love them. Shout to Weesh, we gotta crack these little jars that open. Yes, my favorite part. I am in love with these in six. I love them so much. I only have one color change. I can't even believe it. I need to get more of those. I wanna get all of them. It's not gonna be easy. Take out my blonde bag. Next one, let's see. Ooh, I can see it looking at me. What is that? Ooh, it's a new one. Definitely don't have this. Oh, look at it. Looks like a little stick of butter. That's what I think it is. Found it with some super good guessing. We get Betsy butter. Oh, She's in the little scrambled eggs recipe. And I thought it was butter, but I also thought maybe it was like a loaf of bread with a little slice coming out. Cute one. There's a second from the first blind bag. Who are we gonna get? Ooh, ooh, this one's pretty. Whoa. Gotta be kidding me. We gotta be kidding me we got an ultra rare i can't even believe it i am never so lucky very sweet pancakes oh we got the final recipe look at it it's kind of metallic these are some golden flapjacks they look so cute that tastes like gold got some super good luck so far because i got two new ones no dupes move on to our second jar why did they put the plastic on it? I don't get it. <laughs> they do not have to put plastic. Pop the lid. Ah! And they're hard to come out of there. Here we go. Ah! You guys, this one was so funny. I couldn't even get what it was. I opened it like this. It kind of looked like a grilled cheese. Oh. That is the cutest. By far my favorite so far. Looks like a little grilled cheese sandwich. Holding a little knife or something like that. What is it? Found it. Ooh, that took me a while. I could not find this one. Toasty warm. Ooh, it's like the toasty one from season five. Looks like it's got some butter or cheese in there. Looks so yummy. Oh, it looks yummy. On for the final chef club of the day. Ah, I love this one, but I'm getting a little tired of it. I have five so far. Bunch of bananas. Seems to be a really common one with this season. Blah. That's what we got. Our four new ones, except this one. Oh, I keep getting it. These three were new to my collection. It's little pancakes, Betsy Butter, Toasty Bread or Toasty Warm. Loved it. I think it was my favorite. You guys can leave me a comment and let me know out of all these new little cuties which one you liked. Uh, Bubba, why don't you with me anymore? Bunch of bananas, you're a little pal! Bunch of bananas, you're a little pal! That was one crazy show. Little eyeshadow, lip gloss, coffee lip balms, and Shopkins. <laughs> Loved all of it. And we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, you could just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.